seem like death is just catching up on some missed work nowadays, but every time I look around, somebody that I like, an actor or a musician, or someone just just is just gone. At first it was Lemmy, Lemmy Kilmeister, frontman for Motorhead. About the, I'm not a I'm I I can't call myself a hardcore fan of, of Motorhead because I only know like two or three songs from them. Most of them are wrestling themes. Not I, I love the guy and I I saw a documentary on him. He, he was a real cool dude. Then we lost Bowie, David Bowie. I couldn't call myself a fan, but I knew I was I knew that he was a, such a magnificent bastard. He was a cool man. And I, I know him more for his acting than his music. I'm aware of a lot of his uh, songs that he's done, but I'm more aware of him as an actor. I loved him as an actor, but today, Def really hit home. Alan Rickman, one of my all-time favorite actors, passed away today, 69, cancer. Yeah. I grew up with Alan Rickman, you know? I was like eight or nine years old, and my parents took me to see Die Hard. And, uh, and this was back during the back during the days I they, they, my parents did take me to see R-rated movies like um, Terminator and Robocop and Die Hard I loved Die Hard as I told a friend of mine once Die Hard is my absolute all-time favorite Christmas movie and it exposed me to Alan Rickman who played Hans Gruber and I loved him he was so suave yet so so slimy but so Deadly. I mean, he put a he put a bullet in two guys' heads, and he was just so magnificent, just the way he said detonators. Everyone relax. We are in complete control. I, I loved Alan Rickman. I loved his voice. His delivery was just <sighs> so British, but so amazing. And then they took me to see. Then a few years later, they took me to see Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, starring Kevin Costner and Morgan Freeman. And good guy, guess who played the villain? The Sheriff of Nottingham, Alan Rickman. Love that movie. Still do and and a lot of and, and for years on end I would tell people that I would I, I would kill you with a spoon because of what he said. I will cut your heart out with a spoon. And another role that a lot of people probably never even saw or heard of is from the movie Dogma with Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, um, Jay and Silent Bob, Chris Rock, just an all-star cast. And Alan was playing the Metatron or the voice of God. And he brought such gravitas to the, to the role too. It's like if God, if that's what the voice of God sounds like, I would be okay. It, it, there were a lot of actors who I think would make perfect voices for God. Uh, chief among them, Morgan Freeman, but I loved him as, as, as the Metatron. I love that movie. I love Dogma. I may watch it again today. Just and, and another movie that he is sorely underrated in was The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy when he played um, Melvin the Depressed Robot. And it, he he put such life into that character, even with, even though he wasn't on screen for a, for a single second, it as himself, but as as a robot that was clinically depressed, and he made it believable. And I just felt sad for him, but he was such a magnificent in that role. But the one everyone probably remembers him best for is his role as Severus Snape in the Harry Potter movies. I love the Harry Potter movies. I can't say that I'm a hardcore fan. I don't know any of the books. I don't know any of the movies. I just enjoy the movies when they come on, and I will actually marathon the movies, and I will watch them. I love the Harry Potter movies. And it was just so enjoyable to watch an entirely new generation get exposed to this magnificent actor. It's it, it, it's, it's like it's like some of those old... It's, it's kind of like the Lord of the Rings movies, you know? 
where no one had ever heard of Christ like no the newer generation had ever heard of Christopher Lee because but he is an accomplished actor who has appeared in dozens of shit and it's movies like Lord of the Rings that introduces these young these young kids to this 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 new generation to these older more more gratifying actors who throw everything into their role and treat acting as a craft that's who Alan Rickman was he he was a man who treated acting not as a paycheck but as an but as an art form and the world feels lesser for it and just makes it feel kind of like death is is not being fair like like there's so many assholes in the world and yet the good ones are just being taken like we lost Christopher Lee last year we lost Leonard Nimoy we lost Robin Williams and and now this year we lost Lemmy we lost Bowie and now we've lost Rickman and this hurts me because I literally grew up with this man but it, it probably hurts more for the Harry Potter fans God you guys have my sympathies this, is, this must be so crushing for you and and all sympathies to his family. I understand he he was surrounded by friends and family during his final hours, and at least I'm glad he went away peacefully. I, I hope he went away peacefully and not without any pain. But at least he went he went out with his family by his side. So I'm I'm, I'm gonna start crying in a minute. I'm sorry. I gotta... God damn it.